So this is going to be for YouTube. So <laughs> I'm going to be reading the chat, but uh, I'm going to answer some questions because I was at the pre-release event. I only had one, unfortunately, and it was like a very late evening. I couldn't even be during the entirety of it, but I played the pre-release and I had fantastic time. I'll be honest with you. When I was playing um, Star Wars Unlimited on Tabletop Simulator, I was like, and it's like, mm, it's okay, but I w it didn't get me going, you know? But when I actually played it in person against real people, I started appreciating it much more. And I think the limited format and drafting is going to be absolutely amazing in Star Wars Unlimited. So this actually makes me very hopeful. When it comes to Constructed, we'll still see. But I'm very, very enjoying the limited format that the game currently has. And that's it. Uh, all right, we start. I, for a second, I thought I have a showcase already, but it's unfortunately not. So we have a show, uh, hyperspace of Jin Erso. We're gonna go through the comments a little bit faster. I already spoiled that we have a foil hyperspace in the back, so that's fantastic. So comments, 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 comments. Nice, another hyperspace. Occupier siege tank. That is very nice. I love the hyperspace like artworks. That's just so much better with the frames. So I'm very happy about that. So then we have the uncommons, not an uncommon, not an uncommon. Then we have the rare traitors, nothing special over here. And we have the foil outer rim headhunter hyperspace. Very nice. I'm very happy about all the hyperspace foils and hyperspace of, of um, ships in general, because I want to collect the ships. So, yeah, this is pretty awesome, even if it may not be the most playable card, but very happy with this. One, one more thing that I really appreciate about this Star Wars Unlimited is the fact that um, I would say that opening booster packs is nice because of the fact that you have random stuff in all of the places on the booster pack. So it's like you go through it as a hyperspace of, by the way, of the leader. So it's, it's now random of talking, but it's a common, so... Um, it's like you typically in order card games, you just essentially just throw away 75% of the cards and keep only the four, four last or something. But here you're going to go through all of them because you can get the hyperspaces of it, you know, or like this one, like it's a common hyperspace common, but it's like anywhere in the booster pack. So you have to go through it because there might be something interesting. And look, look how this common looks. It's absolutely beautiful. It complements the, the artwork so much. And some people might say, like, oh, I don't like the artwork because it's art is subjective, right? Art is subjective, as with everything. But I can tell you that people who play this game in real life start appreciating the artwork much more when they start playing with the cards. I cannot explain it, but somehow those cards lo look much better in real life than in, um, than in the... Um, on, on digital versions or whatever. So we have a legendary Mace Windu. I have a foil of him from the first box that I opened. So that's something. And then we have a foil uncommon, but in a normal version. But pretty nice. But also, like, this is not the level of, like, One Piece foils, you know? But also... There's, I, I think One Piece is, has the absolute best foiling, absolute best paper stock. Uh, and it's hard to beat, you know? It's like the highest standard you can hold a card game to. So that's, that's uh, yeah. That's a thing. All right, we have a rare leader. Han Solo is one of the artworks that I unfortunately very dislike. Is this, who, who's, who did the artwork? David Nash. Yeah, not a fan of this very comic book, Dan Hip, kind of from Marvel Snap artwork style. Not a fan, you know, but, but there are people who actually love this kind of artworks, but it's not me, unfortunately. But that's the rare, so it goes over here. And then we have Capital City, and we have over here, we'll go for the comments, we'll see if we get any hyperspaces. Nothing really. Oh, see, look, look at this. This is the same card. Look at the difference. It looks like completely something else. Right? Like completely something else. Like what the hell? But it's the same card. But it just looks so much nicer without the black border and without the frame. It's like, it's, but it's the same card. So, yeah, very cool. 
very cool but I, so i was wondering maybe it should have been the default like this this is how the card should look by default but then at the same time that would kind of rob themselves from the uh, from from the collectible collectability of the card game so maybe it's a good decision that we actually got it this way uh, okay i cannot wait to get this in in the hyperspace by the way it's going to look amazing carabast and then we have a re relentless it's another spaceship that I would love to have in hyperspace. Imperial vehicle. You can see the scale over here. And then we have a foil patrolling V-wing. Essentially, it's like a cantrip. It's a two mana, one one that draws your card. Okay. But the thing is, in this game, drawing cards is actually not as powerful as it is in other games. Why? Because in this game, you actually get to draw two cards every round. So the the value of drawing cards by playing cards is way less than in other card games when you just draw one card. Of course, you also put the cards in mana, but some decks just don't... Yeah, the orientation was here pretty wild. Uh, but not every deck goes to like eight mana or seven, you know? So there's a little bit of a different kind of value in this game than on the other ones. Greedo! Okay, Bright Hope. Fifth Brother. And we have Galactic Ambition. Expensive card. I mean, in cost. Lotal Insurgent. Yeah, very me. Uh, that's a foil common with border. Okay, and red goes over here. All right, let's speed up a little bit the packs because this is taking ages, man. Whoop. All right, so we have common hyperspace base. Let's go. And, but yeah, very nice, by the way. Is it two sided? Yeah, because there's a shield token in the back. Castro City. All right. Comments, 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 uncommon, uncommon. And we have a hyperspace blizzard assault ATAT. Again, very nice artwork. But in frame, it would not look as good. The difference is just striking, you know? So this goes over here, I guess. But this is uncommon, so we're going to do it like this. Wait, I'm going to move this here, this here. This is hyperspace uncommon, so we're going to do it like this, this. And this goes over here, like this. Okay. Uh, and this is a rare strafing gunship. And then we have a foil uncommon devotion, which is an upgrade. I've never seen this card, actually, before. Okay. So this goes over here, and this is a foil uncommon, which goes here. Can you tell the card rarity? Uh, so the cards have a symbol in this corner over here for for uh, leaders. And for normal cards, you have it on the bottom here. You have a C, as you can see, right? This is common. Uncommon is going to have a silver U. Uh, rare is going to have a gold R. And legendaries, for some reason, are blue with a blue letter L. Which I would prefer to have, like, see, this is uncommon over here. Uh, I would, Yoda, by the way. I would prefer the legendaries to be gold or, like, red or something. See, this is rare. So it has, like, a star and an R, and an R on it. And then we, oh, foil Jeddah City. Nice. This is a foil rare. It's an uncommon base, which is something that you have permanently on your board, which is very nice, a lot of value from watching it, from looking at it. Too bad it's not hyperspace, but this is very nice. This 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 might actually be worth something. On card market, you can already find Star Wars Unlimited, but because the game is not yet released officially, the prices are the prices are wild. Like you have absolutely no idea how many things are like how much worth. But this is very cool. Nice hit, I would say. Nice hit. So, Jetta City in foil. All right. 
Then we have Jun Erso, another base in hyperspace, chopper base. So there's like a standard uh, yellow color, essentially a base like this. Okay, then we have comments, 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 common. Rup, rup, rup. We go, we go, we go. Uncommon, uncommon. No hyperspace in this one. Chewbacca, which is also an uncommon. Jedi lightsaber, which is the rare of the pack. And then we have a battlefield marine in hyperspace foil. Now, this is a nice hit, even though it's a common. But it's a common that is very playable. And it's a hyperspace foil version. So you cannot get any better than this. This is like the maximum variant when it comes to rarity so even when it's if it's a common this one is actually pretty rare i would say and because it's a playable common which makes it a good hit because people might actually want it i have no idea how much will it be worth but it's definitely worth the pack i would say at least that would be my anticipation of the value of it you know because if it, if it will be an unplayable common yeah well then it's whatever right a little bit warped because it's a foil. Yeah, but it's it's the warping actually is not that terrible. Like it's okay. Some cards are less um less like this one is actually not like by card standards in general. It looks worse on camera than it looks in real life. I will tell you that. Like it looks a little bit worse on camera than it looks in real life. In real life, it all it's almost not bent at all. Alright, common, 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 Broop. And we have maximum firepower. Hyperspace um, maximum firepower. Very nice. It's a common, but I'm excited because it looks nice. Okay, so this goes into hyperspace commons. Hypers TCG player has that Battlefield Marina at $100. You, you have to be shitting me. It's a common. This is, this is a goddamn common, man. In a hyperspace full version that, that yeah this is this is what i mean the prices are wild the prices are wild like i don't know man and we have uh rare for cause i believe okay and a foil common foil common goes here i have sleeves for rares and all to prevent yeah i do but there's nothing gonna happen with them right now And they look better with other forms right here. Okay, we have Emperor Palpatine as a rare. Uh, unfortunately, no hyperspace, no foiling, no anything. It's just, just a rare. And then we have Echo Base. Commons, 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 commons. Broop, 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 broop. Uncommon Wing Leader. No good to me, dead. Road Squad. Avenger, legendary. Let's go. Is it playable? Nine mana. When played on attack, an opponent chooses a non-leader unit they control. Defeat that, that unit. So it has a non, uh, non-targeted removal build in it. And they can use it in any of the spaces. And it's very expensive. Is it any good? I don't know. Probably not very playable. But it's a legendary, so that's nice. And a Viper Probe droid. All right, so second legendary of the box so far. In theory, um, we should get three legendaries per box. Now, is that gonna be true? I don't know, because my first box had six. Which is kind of weird. But uh, let's see how the second one will have. Um, okay. Okay, this pack is pretty... very boring. Emperor Palpatine! No special foiling, no anything, just a normal version of the rare. And we have a... Quite a printing error on this card, by the way. There's like... I don't think you can see it on the camera, but I can see it in real life. There's a printing error on this on this card. Thank God on this card, which is not worth a lot, but not on a not on a more expensive one. I cannot show it somehow... Oh, 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 oh. Right here. Right here. You can see lines. Oh, you can see it right here. Wait, I'm gonna find, try to find an angle that makes, oh, here we go. There are like two thin lines, and that's a printing error. That is happening, like, if you ever play Pokemon, 
like the old old expansions had it being a huge problem like my god the old pokemon cards had so many printing problems it's like it was terrible man it's terrible it was terrible but also you know what's funny what I realized, because One Piece, again, I think it's the standard of print and of quality of paper stock and foiling in general. They're incredibly creative as well. But the problem is they are so good at it that most of the cards that you open are actually going to be graded at 10. So when there's nothing special, when everything is fantastic, nothing is special. You know what I mean? Like with One Piece, the card print is so is so good. The quality is so good of the print that majority of the cards are gonna be graded at ten, which makes it like, is it any special? Because in other card games, getting a ten is actually a very big thing. But right here, it's like in in One Piece, it's like it's whatever kind of. It's it's a ten. It's expected, you know. It's expected to have a ten in most of the incredibly rare cards. So it's very, very peculiar. All right. We go rare leader, Shirut Inve. And we go comments, comments. Oh, we have some hyperspace. My bad. I right, go for the comments. Hyperspace is Mercenary Company. Pretty nice. Like it. Uh, that's a hyperspace comment. What does this go here? An uncommon Bib Fortuna, Ezra Bridger, absolutely awful uh, artwork. Blah. But it's an uncommon hyperspace, so that's nice. Uh, rare, the Emperor's Legion, return each unit in discard pile that was defeated this phase to your hand. I think this is a pretty good card, but I have no idea if it's any, any super good. Bamboozle, trick and foil. Uncommon. All right. Uncommon foils over here. Will you open some Pokemon ones in the future? Um, I don't really feel like any connection to Pokemon right now. So it's like, not really. I was wondering about this set 151, you know, but it's like, eh. I'm not playing Pokemon. I'm not collecting Pokemon. So the only thing that we do with Pokemon is play with my daughter. But we play with like basic decks and she learns a lot. So it's like, it, it's not about the cards, you know. It's about the fact that she likes Pokemon. Uh, and she will not appreciate the value of it anyway. Death Trooper, very nice artwork. It's just a foil, uh, sorry, hyperspace common, but very nice. Um, uncommons, uncommon, uncommon. And we have a rare base over here and a foil common. Foil commons were going here. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god, I thought we were going to get a showcase because we would have been here. Again, I got baited by the hyperspace leader. Ah. Okay. Comments, comments, comments. Showcases are the rarest card in the uh, in the game, and they are like you can get a hyper uh, showcase. Sorry, you can get a showcase leader every other case. So it's like one per twelve boxes. So it's pretty rare. Del Miko does our rare of the pack. And then we have Death Star Stormtrooper in foil. Common foil. Here we go. Do you spoil her with Pokemon boosters? Nah, not yet. Like, um, she's getting like um, starter decks and so on, and it doesn't really matter that much for her. I'm pretty happy about the. <gasps> we got a showcase! Holy shit! Let's go! This is what I just talked about. This is the most rare card, um, card like um, version of the entire uh, of the entire case, entire set, and we actually hit a K Cassian Andor. Damn! Let's go. Wait, let me just choose this. It's not textured. But it kind of, like, the rainbow foiling is so different. I've never seen something like this. And it's double-sided as well. Very nice. 
it, the foiling I've never seen a rainbow foil like this because it's you see how it glimmers right when you when you go left and right it's actually glimmering so much is it serial numbered no no they don't have serial numbers this is so nice I was expecting them to be like normal rainbow foils wait let me just see this is this is a normal rainbow foil you see how it's like over the entire card essentially and the glimmer of the rainbow is like everywhere but here it's on the entire card but it's like selective of what it reflects is very nice very nice all right for this one i actually have to bring a uh a foil one second for this one i actually have to put it in a foil one second my friends I'm gonna put it in like Luke Skywalker, no? This is super nice. Here we go. And into a double sleeve as well. Wait. Like this. Very nice. Woo! Let's go. Well, this is this box is fucking great. This box is fucking great. Amazing. All right. Well, that's gonna be the best hit of the box. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing better than this. This card. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> from now on it's gonna be disappointing. But even though the next pack, what the f the next pack has a hyperspace rare leader, right? Has a hyperspace rare leader, and then we have a hyperspace base as well. So that's amazing. All right, let's go. So I have a few booster packs. Those are uncommons. Uh, comes over here. Rebel Organa and a foil regional sympathizers. Okay. So we're going to put that here because that's the common foil. Another pack. The the fun thing about the getting Cassian Ender is that uh, Cassian Ender is the fact that it's like a character, main character in a, in a, in a movie, right? So that card is going to be more valuable when it comes to showcases. Like the, the most valuable showcases in my eyes will be Leia, Boba the Fett, um, and Cassian, Cassian, essentially, and Sabine because she's super playable, right? Oh, hyperspace, hyperspace um, rare. Wait, my bad, double rare. So it's I had no choice trick, and it's a hyperspace. Fantastic. All right, so it's a first hyperspace rare apart from the leader that we got. So we get one hyperspace leader, normal rare, and a common foil over here. Okay. And then we have uh, so okay, we go for the commons. Common wilderness fighter. Dude, those those car artworks are fantastic, man. When they are just like in full hyperspace. That's essentially it. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Bombing run is a rare and the common foil. All right, we have still six booster packs, if I see correctly. We have common uh, hyperspace base. Commons, commons, Comments, 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 bruh, bruh, bruh. Uncommon. Wait, I fucked it up. My bad. Sorry, guys, I spoiled the cards. Sao Gerrara, but I'm actually most happy about this one. 
a foil hyperspace of a ship. Corellian Freighter. Very nice. Also, the hyperspace version of the same cards don't have the explanation of the keywords, which is a nice touch, because typically would have an explanation of what is Sentinel. And Sentinel is like a blocker, essentially. So that's very nice. I'm going to put it here. Oh, you're right. I didn't show the other cards from the pack with the showcase. I absolutely forgot. This is the... Sorry, guys. This is the pack that had Case Cassian. So... Cassian was here. Let's see what else was in this pack, because maybe it was like a god pack or something. Let's see. Let's see. Sorry, absolutely forgot about that. Absolutely forgot about that. That's the, that's the showcase pack. So we have a consortium Star Viper as well. Hyperspace common. And then we have uncommon, uncommon, uncommon Ra, frontline shuttle. No way! A foil legendary in the same pack as Cassian Ando. What the hell? What a pack. Holy shit. Oh, I'm so, so mad at myself that I didn't open them next to each other because that would have been even more hype. But that's insane. What the hell? Could have been a hyperspace though, no? Yeah, unlucky guys, unlucky. Unlucky, could have been a hyperspace, man. Could have been better. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, uh, we have... Let's finish this one. What an insane box. Holy crap. Like, really? Common disarm in the hyperspace. Insane box. Then we have legendary. Uh, foil uncommon. But with a lot of printing problems over here. A lot of printing problems on this card, by the way. So, but it's a common, so whatever. Uh, and a legendary yellow card. The double yellow. Cunning. Every color has like this double, uh, like double choose two in any order thing. Which I think those cards at some point will be playable. When we get more expansions. So that's nice. Hello, Bambucha. All right, we have three packs left. Uh, Chewbacca. Wait, that wasn't Chewbacca. Never mind. Delete the VOD. Delete the VOD. No, delete the VOD again. Twice deleted. Delete it. Delete the evidence. Okay, Greedo. Greedo. Hyperspace smuggling compartment, which is an uncommon. And hyperspace uncommon over here. Rare Jabba the Hutt. And Ezra Bridger. And Ezra Bridger, this is a foil version. This is a non-foil version of the same card, but with, a, but with hyperspace. Like, as you can see, even though the artwork is absolutely awful in my eyes, it actually looks much better on this one. That's foil uncommon. Okay. All right, we have Leia. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think, like, this box is nuts, but it's going to be even more nuts if that playable common in, in the Hyperspace Evolved version it will be even more rare. Nice, very playable and rare. Fett's Fire Spray is very playable, so this is a very good hit. This is a very, very, very good hit. Nice. And then we have Foil Death Trooper, which is a little bit bent. This one is a little bit bent. No printing errors from what I see here, uh, but it's a common, so it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, nice rare head. All right, two packs left. Guys, if... Okay, I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't know how how's the card distribution working in it, but if there's a second, second showcase in this box, I'm going to give you 100 subs. <laughs> yeah, I'm only saying this because it's not going to happen. <laughs> There's like two packs left. What are, you, what, what are you doing, man? I don't know. I was just saying bullshit. Uh, Emperor's Royal Guard. A foil rare. You're my only hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
A little bit damage on the top though. Yeah, this card is definitely not a 10. Uh, foil rare that goes over here. Thirty-five years old, by the way. How dare you? I'm thirty-eight. Uh, Leia, Leia. What? What did I say? Leia twice. Never mind. All right, this is the last pack. So no showcase. Unlucky guys. No one hundred subs. Very unfortunate. Nice. If th this is the second very playable common, if this would be in foil, I would probably, I would probably say it's gonna be. It would be worth the same as this one, right? But it's still like half a space. Of a very playable common. So this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. And then we have uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. A legendary devastator. Hey, that actually sounded like purple teen, no? You may deal damage and you need to equal the number of resources control. So it has sentinel I mean it costs 10 mana, so I yeah, I don't know if it's playable. Woo! Let's go! A foil hyper space. Of a rare heroic sacrifice. Draw a card, then attack with a unit. For this attack, it gets plus two plus zero and gains when this unit deals combat damage defeated. Oh, okay, so it's a Kamikaze card. That's why it's called heroic sacrifice. But nice, it's a hyperspace rare foil. Very nice. But still, guys, this box was absolutely insane. Like, what the hell? Wait, let me let me show it to you, okay? So let me put the comments away. And let's make a roundup. Because this is like holy shit. This box was insane. This box was absolutely insane. So those are the rares. We had some good rares as well. Uh uncommons I'm gonna go here to the box as well. But look at this. So we had four legendaries, just four legendaries, right? Not just, it's actually over the average because average are three legendaries per box. We also got a foil legendary, which is way above average. But we, on top of that, we got the showcase of the, of the leader, which is absolutely mental. This card, I would say, probably 300 euros right now i don't know i'm i'm sh i'm just shooting shit maybe it would stick if i would put it on card market right now maybe it would sell for 300 euros who the hell knows maybe it will be more for more in the future but or maybe it will be more less uh worth less but i would probably say 300 euros you know for this card but then on top of that we also got the jedi city in foil we also got um we also got the most rare variant of the very playable common, which is very nice. And then we also had another hyperspace leader, which is very nice as well. But in the rare version, I mean, right? This is rare, so it's not a common leader. And uh, we had pretty good, um, like, yeah, this box was insane. What the hell? What the hell? And someone in the chat said that this common is worth apparently $100. I don't believe that, but yeah. But it's definitely worth more than a pack that it was in. Because it's the, yeah, but this, like, this is still insane. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, more on streams later. I still have uh, 10 boxes to open. So, yeah. Very excited. Oh, we got a showcase. Let's go. All right. See you guys on stream. Bye-bye.